Welcome, everyone. We are here for the pilot episode of the Embed OS Tech Forum. I'm super excited. I'm Alessandro Grande, your host for today, and I'm here with uh, Don Garnier. Hello, Don. Hey, Alessandro. How are you doing? Great. It's awesome to have you here. So yeah, Don is uh, the tech lead of Embed OS, and uh, I'm really excited to have a chance to have you as a, as a co-host, Don. Great I'm very excited as well. That that's uh, that's going to be great. Awesome. And before we we dive in the Embedded OS Tech Forum and what it is, I'm really keen to hear more of your story. Right. I wanted to have a chance to uh, have you introduce yourself to to the Embedded OS um, developer community. Tell us more about your background. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Alessandro. Um, so yeah, as you said, I started as a an intern back 10 years ago, it's been a while, uh, with the Embed team. And at the time, it was a small team. And, uh, you know, we're uh, working on uh, those things uh, that some of you might remember. Um, really, really cool, really cool boards. And um, so I, I, I did an internship there. Uh, that was really amazing. I really had a good time. And uh, working on the, a bunch of uh, connectivity stuff. So. Uh, uh, I remember building, uh, you know, like a, a 3G connected MP3 player with Embed, and uh, that was quite, quite fun. And um, uh, but then, when, when once I finished my studies, uh, I actually jumped into the the startup world. So I ran a startup for a while, and uh, we were uh, developing embedded software. And actually, we we were users of Embed, so we were like sort of on the other side. Uh, uh, and and that was that was really good because the embed helped us deliver our embedded software solution across you know different platforms like with customers using different microcontrollers and and with embed with this sort of like consistent interface and uh, you know like uh, one one when a customer needed like a, a new platform to uh, to be supported to use our software it was like much easier so we had like those we use those developer friendly APIs and the, the, the range of platforms supported by Embed to basically go faster to market, um, which, which was really useful. Let me pause you there for a second. Uh, this is a surprise question. I'm really keen, given that you used Embed OS uh, as, a, as an external developer, mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite feature back then when you were using Embed OS? Yeah. Surprise questions are always dangerous, uh, Alessandro. But I'll take <laughs> uh, I think I think well when I got I, I guess to embed uh, when I, I I came to know about it. I think the, the the feature that impressed me the most back then was the you know that drag and drop functionality. You would you could very easily like you, you would download your your binary and like drag and drop it on onto what was essentially would look like a flash drive, and it would get program to your board. And I think back then there was, I thought that was really cool because the, the alternatives were buying, you know, like one of those really expensive uh, JDAC programmers and it was really like complicated. And you sometimes had to like, you know, remove your microcontroller from your board and program it and put it back. It was, that was a pain. So like that sort of drag and drop feature, I think was the, what for me was the killer feature at the time. Awesome. I mean, that's that's super interesting uh, that you say that because actually that was one of the first things that I noticed about Embed when I started using it. I was like, I was I was actually, you know, super excited to be able to just drop something that I wrote, you know, uh, they, they talk about physical computing, right? And yeah. I was super excited to have a chance to actually see it happening on my physical device in no time, right? Like it was super yeah. easy and uh, yeah, it was super cool. Um, thank you for sharing that. And yeah, uh, I think, you know, we mentioned, you mentioned about um, working for this external startup, but now you're back in ARM. So I'm curious to hear, uh, you know, what made you come back and, and uh, what brought you to be, become the Embed OS tech lead? So I came back to ARM uh, roughly three years ago. And, and, and first, uh, first I got involved with the, you know, the, the Bluetooth uh, part of the Embed and the, the HAL. And uh, something I was really excited about with joining the Embed team was to, you know, to 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 make sure that Embed remains sort of like developer centric and and make sure that you know I'd like on the back of my mind I had all these like 
the, the great things that embedded like uh, allowed me to to deliver but and and but sometimes you you know like you you write down mental notes of like what could make it the experience even better and so i wanted to 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 going back to arm like and and being able to improve the product from the inside like i think it was that, that that's something which was really exciting to me and uh so i've been tech lead for roughly six months now and um but even before that uh i think being part of the embed team and trying to you know like improve improve embed and make it even more useful to the to the developer community was a strong motivation great to hear that and uh you know i think we're going to talk in more detail about what the embed os tech forum is but actually you kind of gave here a sneak peek i think we're really keen to make sure that we are more connected with the community, right? Because mm -hmm. we believe that actually we have to address the developer needs, right? And uh, and this is one another channel for for doing this. And I'm really looking forward to more of this uh, coming up. So we said this is just a pilot, right? So uh, there's going to be uh, one episode each month. So stay tuned. But before we talk about the Embed OS Tech Forum and what we're going to discuss in in uh, in viewing the tech forums. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned embed many times already, right? But we've never actually introduced it during this show. Yeah, we so should probably. I was keen to have you. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we should say what it is, right? So yeah, maybe let's, let's just say what it you. is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what, what what is embed OS? Uh, it's actually it's a, a an IoT platform operating system for Cortex M devices. So what does that mean? It means that we're taking a lot of uh, great open source software. Uh, and we're uh, integrating it and we're adding a consistent API on top of it. And the MLOS is open source and it's also cross-platform. So uh, it means that, uh, you know, like our goal is to have like uh, that our API runs across a range of microcontrollers. Um, and and why, why are we doing this? Uh, because, you know, IoT, building IoT devices is hard, right? And uh, the amount of software you need to, to, to develop an IoT product is becoming bigger and, and more complex. And so we, we want to make it easier for developers to, to build something that, that just works, right? And so we're doing that integration, which is hard, and hopefully uh, make it uh, all developers' lives a, a little bit easier. You know, we 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 talk now. We said what embedded uh, OS is. Um, now we should probably say talk about actually the tech forum, right? So, mm. what is uh, what is your vision for the embedded OS tech forum? What what would you like to uh, to achieve with this? And uh, you know, where do you see it going? Uh, yeah, ex yes, really good question. Uh, I think um, so. So embed, embed OS. If if you look if you look back. Uh, uh, at the history of Embedos, I think it's become successful thanks to the thanks to the developer community, right? Like the Embedos wouldn't be here without people using it, contributing to it, and over so so yeah, the community has been key. The developer community has been key to the success of Embed. Um, but um, so far, the community has had like a few you know avenues to to. To engage with us, uh, we have the forums, we have GitHub, uh, we have uh, a survey that we run annually, which is super insightful for us each year. Uh, but we want to go a step further and uh, engage uh, engage further with the community, get like work closer uh, with uh, folks who are building things with Embed. And so I I'm, I'm really excited that we're running those tech forums because it means that we're going to be able to hear uh, hear more from the community, get more feedback, uh, and uh, see also get a chance to see what uh, folks are doing with Embed, which is, I think, uh, something really amazing to showcase. Awesome. So let, let's try to simplify this. What are the three topics that we will cover during the, the Embed OS tech forums? OK. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I think three main, well, we'll have three recurring themes, uh, as you said. Um, first, um, areas uh, we're working on, like uh, current areas of work in the, the, the embed team uh, and why would 
we go to tech forum, well, we're building things, but we want to make sure that they're useful for our community. So we want to be able for the community to see what we're working on, but also give us the some feedback so that we can improve uh, improve those features, improve those uh, aspects of the OS. Uh, the second uh, item uh, or the second theme for the tech forums will be around you know the the, the roadmap we have and because uh, there are things we're working on now, but things we're working we're thinking of working in the future, and we want the community to be aware of like what our roadmap is, but also contribute to it and give us feedback on okay uh, maybe you're going to be working on uh, ML, but this is the very space this is the key problems I have around. Uh, ML. Uh, so I think that that's going to be really useful as well. But the third, the third theme, which to me is the more the most exciting, is showcasing what the community the, uh, has built, the, what our partners, what developers have uh, taken, embed, and uh, what they've done with it, uh, what and both what products products they've built or what how they've extended embed us maybe to address. Uh, 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 some uh, specific problems they had and also what their journey was and what their journey is with Embed and and yeah, like what are the things that worked well, the things that could have been better and I think that's going to be super exciting to to hear uh, the the what cool things people have been building with Embed. So yeah, looking forward to that. Awesome. You know, you, you said a couple of things that made me really uh, smile, right? Because, uh, you know, you said you're excited about uh, having developers uh, talk to us and share what they're doing, right? And actually share with everyone out there, right? Like with all the other developers, what they're doing, because sometimes uh, that's also missing, right? Like, so, we, you know, I'm really, I think that's a key, right? We're giving a platform to these developers to to share with everyone else and with us, um, you know, what they're building. And the objective of this is is to really drive more innovation, drive more contributions, um, drive more exciting projects that we can do together, right? So, you know, to me, that's that's super exciting, harnessing the power of the community, right? Um, and doing this together as a, as a group of developers, right? Um, so, you know, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing your view. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to give our, you know, our listeners, uh, our viewers, a chance to maybe understand what kind of topics we will we will cover in the, in the future uh, during those embed OS tech forums is I wanted to ask you actually um, what do you think are the key themes that embed OS will focus on mm -hmm. in the next six to twelve months? So there, there's a few things where we want to get right, and I think a, a, a key theme we've had in in the embed OS team was uh, has been how do we make sure uh, developers can go to prototype to production more easily uh, so that's that's one of them uh, we want but but beyond that uh, we want to focus on developer experience as well uh, and also we want to make it easier for the community to contribute to embed us and 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 give feedback on how they're using embed us so i think those those themes will probably uh, be quite important uh, in the next couple of uh, couple of months, and um, so yeah, looking forward to speaking about those things. O of course, there'll be other areas uh, we'll be addressing too. Uh, but yeah, Alessandro, like, uh, can I actually ask you a question? Because you, you've been asking me a lot of questions, so I feel like I I I I, I get the right to ask you a question as well. <laughs> sure, put put me on the spot. Okay, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> so. Uh, can, can can you share maybe with our audience a little bit more, you know, details about the the embed of tech forum and, and how how that's going to work? Absolutely, I'm happy to do that. So we're going to have uh, our first embed OS tech forum live uh, on the 9th of December at 5 p.m. UTC. And I said live because uh, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that these are going to be live events, uh, live streams on YouTube. Um, and you're going to have a chance to ask questions to everybody, right? So the, uh, you're going to, to Don, to me, um, and to everyone else that's going to participate. So all the developers, all the contributors and maintainers of Embed OS, um, various parts of Embed OS that will be on the show with us. So really, again, you know, I wanted to kind of drive home the point that actually 
this is a way for us to really kind of open up to, to everyone and, and be able to uh, talk to, to all of you and understand what your needs are and also uh, what your challenges are so we can address them um, together. So that's, that's, you know, that's the first one. But actually, we're going to have um, a live event every month starting uh, December. So you know, stay tuned for, for the other dates. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have a chance to, to do this with you, Don. I'm really excited to, to have a chance yeah, to, to do this together. Yeah, likewise. And uh, yeah, thanks, Alessandro. Uh, that, that is really exciting. So very much looking forward to getting that started. Awesome. So make sure everyone to uh, stay tuned and uh, tune in for the first event on the 9th of December at 5 p.m. UTC. Thank you. Thank you for Thanks all the viewers. Thank you.